Well, the monsoon season brings with it rain every year and unfortunately also the risk of flooding here in Thailand. And unfortunately, there is still flooding going on in many parts of Thailand. But today we've come to actually to the Relief and Community Health Bureau here at the Thai Red Cross to talk about relief efforts where they're giving out packages like these to families in need. But more importantly, we're going to get some valuable insight into what exactly is the extent of the flooding? Is it as much as it was last year? And as expats community here, what can you do to help those in need? With me today is Dr. Amnat Barley, who is from the Relief and Community Health Bureau here at the Thai Red Cross Society. Well, it's always a pleasure to come and talk with you. Thank you. Welcome. I know it's that time of year again. Everyone watching, they know that there are areas of Thailand which are flooding, and of course the Thai Red Cross is always there to lend a hand where it's needed. What areas currently are you looking to deliver goods to? Right now, it's starting to get all over from the place, you know, from the northern down to the central plain right now. It's more or less the, not the same like last year. Last year is quite a uh, huge flood. But Sky, this one is only uh, 11 or 13 provinces get affected from the Chiang Mai down to, right now, to Ang Thong, Ayutthaya, as well as the, you know, uh, Nakhon Suan, Pisunlok, and Pichit. Mm. <laughs> well, I know a lot of what you, you bring to those areas is, especially uh, clean water is, is, is vitally important. Yes. And you do have relief packages. I know this is some of the things that we have behind us. How, how much, I guess, how much material do you have to bring with you to, to provide relief to the people who have been inundated? Uh, right now, you know, we uh, spent, you know, uh, by Secretary General Kun Pan Manamethi, he went out quite often to the different area from uh, Pichit, Pisulok, Ayutthaya, Ang Thong, and Sakel. He's going to Chayapum as well. So we distribute more than, uh, worth uh, more than, uh, almost uh, more than uh, five million baht right now, you know. So more or less like a f five or 10,000 family, more or less, right now, yeah. Well, I know one, one, one fear that people have, especially coming after last year's flooding, as you right, mentioned, right. that it was so huge last year, right. so widespread, right. that maybe we can help clear up some confusion. Okay. We know last year there were some, a lot of different factors, right. a lot of rain, uh, a lot of water discharged from the dams. Right. The flooding this year, is it looking like last year or is, is this something different? No, I, I would uh, look different this year. It's, it's from the you know, pouring rain. Uh, last year we have a lot of uh, typhoon, Nocten, uh, Haima, you know, name it, about five of them from last year. Different story. And this year is kind of you know, pouring rain from the, you know, from the, the God, you know, give us more, more water. And they get inundated. So, and uh, quite a few that, you know, the water from the north, that from the rain as well, under the dam. Not, not uh, you know, uh, before the dam, but uh, after the dam, let's get uh, more rain this year. And then get, you know, uh, warning, you know, pouring down to the, to the central plain right now. Oh, so when we've seen, I, I know what people might have seen some pictures from like Sukhothai where they see, right. they have flood barriers, but the water has actually breached those barriers, uh, risen above those. Right. Those are really traditionally and historically areas that flood every year. That's correct? right. Because you know, right now, you know, we have too much, you know, cutting wood or more forest destroying. And it's no uh, tree to, uh, you know, uh, get the water, uh, can hold the water. So the water from the, you know, from those one come down very, very fast. And as with the Yom River, there's no dam to, you know, collect the water. So that, that's why, you know, the, the Yom River, to get more water down to the, to the pouring uh, area in the south. Well, that, that is good news. I guess the best of a, of, of a bad situation. Uh, I know when I've, when I've come to talk to you before, right. you know, we, we've looked at all the different things that people have donated and, and how much is needed and what is needed. For this year, are there any particular supplies uh, uh, that the Red Cross is really looking to, to get? Yeah, we, we uh, use the more or less the same and we have uh, ready to, you know, to eat food, like you know, uh, instant uh, rice, uh, canned food, that's, that's natural medicine for the uh, people. And actually we welcome any donation, you know, either rice or instant noodle or the uh, can, you know, uh, 
food, we will, we will come, we welcome you know, any uh, staff for those. Do you also need things, I, you know, I see, uh, you know, any kind of uh, medical supplies or, or sanitary uh, supplies, are, are those also needed as well? Yes, we, we do. We uh, actually, uh, we like to buy from you know, so-called household medicine here, and uh, that's uh, usually for the Thai people uh, quite often, as well as the medicine for the food. The, the food, uh, you know, oh, for Nam Kat Thao or you oh, know, because, Hong Kong food, yeah. Oh, because you've been, people have been standing in, in, in right. water for so long. Right, right. In terms of clean water, if, if I recall correctly, you actually have a mobile water purification. Uh, yes. Yes, we do. And, and we, right now we have about 10 units, and, uh, and not only the big one, and we have small one, and uh, right now we, even though we don't have, you know, the electricity, we can get from the sunrise, uh, make energy, and you know, we can make a clean water form. Also, you have, it can be solar powered. Right. It's, it's mobile, so you're able to right. get to those areas which, yeah. which are maybe cut off. Right. We get from Nectec, uh, you know, a uh, couple months ago, and we're ready to deploy it. And uh, also, we get from Dow Chemical, we get from semen, and uh, at the old time, we have from, you know, semen, uh, from uh, a man from uh, German Red Cross, and all those stuff, we have about 10 units, so ready to deploy any time. Yeah. Well, well, as an international organization, uh, I know last year obviously there there were there was a lot of help outside of Thailand coming in. Right. Is is it something where this year's flooding is also requiring that we you know we're asking people or other countries are are, are offering help or is it still kind of manageable? Yeah, we we can manage on this time. And uh, a friend from Singapore called me too. You know, whether Dr. Bali, you uh, need some assistance. Yes. Well, thank you very much for your uh, kindness, and uh, we welcome you know. In kind, you know, in no, we that's just our you know heart from heart, you know, from our friend in neighbor. But for the uh, disaster at this time, we can you know take care of it by by ourselves. And so, uh, but we we not uh, we didn't close the door for any. So we welcome any. It's a friend, you know, among the friend. Even though you know, like we go to other country like China, Laos, uh, Myanmar. Even though they can take care by themselves, but. In Kai, you know, we as a friend, our neighbor, and our Southeast Asian country. So, as friend, we, you know, we, we welcome any any time. Even though around the world, no, no problem. Well, it's what really makes it such a big success. Is is just people helping other people. That's no, right. no matter where That's they right. are. That's true. That's it's, it's you know, it's human being, and as a Red Cross, you know, we call Red Cross family. Uh, we actually we we give to anyone and to any people anytime, and no. Discrimination. That's all. Well, especially for the expats who are watching the show, who are maybe perhaps here on vacation or currently reside in Thailand, is there anything they can do to help? Um, any, you know, can they volunteer their time? Can, you know, can they go and donate more things? Yes, uh, welcome. You know, uh, you can donate the material, the stuff. You can donate the money. You can donate time, and you can donate the brain and the thought. The mindset, you know. and as well as the moral support, there's something that you know uh, by you know either uh, speak good thing and uh, you know a creative thing and all those stuff, and uh, we welcome any any time you know, all those uh, four or five donation at least you know, peace of mind. That's very important. If if they would like to get in contact, uh, yes. is is there a phone number or a website that they can go yes, to? Yes, they can uh, come in your know, website of Thai Red Cross, so called www. Uh, record.or.th or our website uh, www.rtrc.in.th or either go to you know uh, or call by phone number uh, 02 uh, 7853 and call you know ask for the you know assistant or can donate the money and uh, you can go to our website and uh, ask for the you know but they live a fund that we can uh, help each other. The people expect, you know, Thai Red Cross to, you know, to support. Sometimes they don't need that, but at least, you know, they feel, you know, more comfort that, you know, the, the people from the Thai Red Cross care for them. And sometimes they don't need it, but they feel like you know, it's kind of warmness and that, okay, that someone that uh, feeling the, the suffering, that sometimes the people, they, they need what uh, inside there. Sometimes they have enough. But at least the care and that we concern from the non-flooding of people and uh, okay, yeah, the Thai heart go to the people. Well, make sure that the, the mental, like uh, the mental health. That's right. Mental that's, health is, is, right. is just as important as the physical right, that's health. that's true. And at least, you know, the people care. Especially, you know, the, this stuff here is uh, from 
royal family from the you know the pattern his Majesty the king and as well as her, her Majesty the queen and her royal highness and all this stuff and uh, the people donated the tie records for those uh, royal uh, charisma and we are the vehicle or the ways and means to bring to the people for uh, our kingdom so this, this is the thing that we, we have done well, well with all the experience you have year after year with with dealing with natural disasters and relief looking to when the water subsides when it comes down do you also involved with the recovery process yes we we do and uh, we uh, this from last year we still doing some recovery uh, on this this kind of uh, thing uh, not only shelter health and care the school the children the aging people water sanitation and health care all this this area that we cover on recovery whatever they, they needed. So we usually we went for uh, assess first and then uh, even this, uh, in this four or five area, then we you know, go out and do some recovery program for them. Well, Dr. Amnad, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to come talk with you. Okay. And the work that you're doing is so vital, thank so much needed, and so much appreciated as well. Thank you so much. This, uh, thank you for, your hand for your program. That, cup and cup. Uh, cup and cup. <laughs> it's okay. been a pleasure. <laughs>
actors, actresses even, mm. and even businessmen, businesswomen, and uh, companies who are interested to get rid of their items maybe at a very good price. Uh, but also there's a lot of uh, sponsors who, right. are, who have been very generous okay. in uh, donating uh, their goods to us, okay. and then we sell them at a very good price. And apart from that, uh, we also get um, uh, donations mm -hmm. from uh, kind-hearted uh, high soul ladies. Almost, and okay, yeah. yes. <laughs> they donate their maybe not used yet uh, uh. branded uh, luxury bags or shoes mm -hmm. or accessories. Uh -huh. And they know that uh, it's for charity. What happens to the money and the proceeds? Does it raise to a certain charity? Yes, or? we donated to uh, cancer research. Cancer research, um, okay. But this year we're going to donate it to the Hematological Cancer Research Centre. Okay, so yeah. it's always it's cancer always related, cancer, is it? Yeah, but different, different forms. Yes, wow, okay. Research. But actually, the money that we donate, mm -hmm. uh, which comes from uh, the clutter sale, mm -hmm. we combine it with the money that we raise uh, with our, the hotel's, Cancer Care Charity Fund Run. Uh, oh, I did that. Yes. No. That? <laughs> yeah, yes. I was in that one. We yeah. do that uh, annually and we do uh -huh. it at Adunkini Park. Yeah. So whatever we raise from that Cancer Care Charity Fund Run, uh, we, add it, with we that. add the clutter sale uh, okay. proceeds mm -hmm. on top of that, mm -hmm. and then the whole amount we donate to Cancer Research. Come down to the wonderful Four Seasons Hotel on 7th of October between 10 and 5 and you can pick up some wonderful bargains. Or if you want to donate your goods, you can also do that by calling the Four Seasons Hotel. So I'd like to thank Kun Cora and Kun Annabelle, my guests today. Kun Cora, Kun Annabelle, thank you. So adika. Thank you again and I will see you next time. So adika.